welcome in to To Your Health. And as you know, February is Heart Month. Mm -hmm. So we have someone very special with us today. We have Jamie Myrick. And Jamie, tell us what you do. I actually work at Baptist South. I'm a nurse manager for cardiology and CCU at South. Mm. Okay, so you stay busy. Yes, ma'am, we do. We stay very busy. Well, we want to talk a little bit. We want to start off with talking about your heart and the, the things that you need to be aware of to look for if you're having problems with your heart. Absolutely. Um, your heart is a muscle in your body. It's about the size of your fist, and it continually pumps blood to all of your organs helping you stay alive and be healthy. Never sleeps. Never sleeps, never rests, Yep. even if you do. Um, and like everything, those constant use of that muscle can wear it out um, and harden those arteries as you age. So it's very important to follow up with your physician regularly to make sure that your heart remains in good working order. What are a few tips to keep that heart in good working order? Because we, you know, we hear so much about, I know, nutrition, sleep, some of those things. Let's pick a couple of those things that you think are most important for taking care of your heart. Absolutely. First, it's important to follow up regularly with your physician mm -hmm. so that they can monitor you to find out if there are any problems and hopefully prevent any further issues if there is a problem. So what would that, when I go to see my physician, what would I want that person to do? Do I want a resting EKG? What, what should be a part of that exam? First, you definitely want to make sure that your blood pressure is monitored. That is one of the most important things okay. about keeping your heart healthy. The higher your blood pressure is, the harder it is for your heart to pump blood through those arteries. And if you think about a rubber band, if you stretch a rubber band and you stretch it, we've all reached in our drawer and grabbed a rubber band and pulled it right. and it popped. Right. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing as your arteries and your vessels because they're made, they have an elastic lining. And the more you stretch them with high blood pressure, the more likely they are to pop or wear out. Mm -hmm. So it's very important that you keep that under control, your blood pressure and taking okay. your medicines. Okay. Um, secondly, if you're a diabetic, it's very important as well that you keep your diabetes under control because diabetes affects so many of your different systems. Um, when you're talking to your physician, uh, especially women over the age of 50, they haven't exactly made the link between menopause and the drop in estrogen, but that's very important with your heart health. If you are a female and you're over the age of 50 and you have gone through menopause, it's very important for your physician to know that so that they can screen you for possible problems. Mm -hmm. um, usually about once a year, they can do uh, an EKG on you. They'll have your cholesterol checked. Um, just your standard physical. If you have been having symptoms of chest pain or if you feel funny, then they can refer you to a cardiologist and they can do what's known as a stress test. Um, that's where you're going to go in, you're going to be hooked up to monitors with a cardiologist there and you'll get on a treadmill and they want to get your heart rate up to a certain level so that they can see if there's anything going on. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Jamie, we're, we're getting ready to go in the month of February, so you people on the 13th, the day before Valentine's Day, which is the day of the heart, you've got a special program at Baptist. Can you tell us a little bit what's going to happen on the 13th? Absolutely. Um, on the 13th of February from 8 a.m. to noon is Love Your Heart Day at Baptist okay. South, and it's an amazing program. It's grown phenomenally over the years. Uh, last year we saw about 200 people. We were there doing EKGs and blood pressure checks. We check your cholesterol, we check your blood sugar, and over the course of the years we've actually had people come in to have their heart checked for Love Your Heart Day and ended up finding some very serious issues with mm. their heart and have gone on to have open heart surgery, emergent oh, open whoa, heart surgery. That's a surprise. Oh. Hey honey, guess what we're going to do this morning? I'm going to drop by here. Next whoa. thing you know you're on the table. Huh? And we've saved their lives though. Of yes. Course, yeah. Yes. It's only $20 to come in and register and have this done. Uh, and there's a phone number. I'll be glad to share that with you guys that you can okay. call to get registered for that. And Absolutely. it's very, very neat. Um, all of Lots of our nurses participate in it. Lots of the senior leaders at Baptist are there because we want to reach out to the community and mm -hmm. have this service available. So you do, <coughs> you do all of that. You have to register. In other words, make an appointment. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Schedule. Yes. And then all of that is done for $20? $20. Okay. 
And you're uh, you have you're there from eight till noon. You're, eight till noon. So there's something going okay. on every hour during that period of time. Yes, absolutely. Probably the best four hours you can spend with regard to your. It heart. doesn't take four hours. Okay. We're there for four hours, okay. but you yeah, come you in. Just, you just and come you in and get the screening. Then. Right. No, you don't have to plan four hours of your day. Okay. Well, everybody, everybody should take advantage of this. Right. For, for $20, that's amazing that you can have that done. So those of you that are not taking care of your hearts, and even those of you who are, remember that February the 13th, Baptist South, and we will give you the number. What is the number? Do you have that right? I actually got that right here. It is 273-4304. All right, that's the number to call. Four three zero four. I would think you should do it now. And thank you for being with us, and we'll be right back.